Sony has one phone that is different from all the others. This is the Sony Xperia XZ2 Compact, a phone that is made to be both powerful and compact. And in comparison with most other phones, it really is. In fact, it is smaller than practically all of Android flagship phones. It has a 5-inch display with a 2 by one display ratio. It is narrow and pretty tall, but overall it fits very easily in a pocket. It's easy to handle with just one hand and this makes it really convenient. Now, if you compare the design of the XZ2 Compact with other phones, you will actually notice that this phone is about the same size as the iPhone 8, which is already a small device. Now, if you want a really super compact phone, then the iPhone SE with its 4-inch display is a lot smaller than the XZ2 Compact, but then you have to deal with a 4-inch display and maybe that's not a good compromise. Now, in terms of design, the XZ2 Compact is made out of a metal frame, which feels solid and well-made. On the back, you have plastic, a translucent plastic that looks different from other phones. The phone itself is a bit chubby, measures around 12 millimeters in thickness, nearly twice the thickness of mo most other modern phones. On the back, you have a fingerprint scanner positioned right below the camera. It's a little bit low, but you get used to it and it's not a problem. On the front you have the 2x1 5-inch LCD display, more on it in a second. You have on-screen buttons so there are no other buttons on the front. On the bottom of the phone you have a USB-C port for charging, but there is no headphone jack. You get a USB-C to 3.5mm headphone jack adapter in the box, but still this is a workaround and doesn't feel as convenient as just having a dedicated 3.5mm audio jack. Now, in terms of the display, you get a 5-inch display with a 2 by one aspect ratio, so it's narrower and taller. The resolution is Full HD+, which is higher than on the previous uh, Sony Xperia XZ1 Compact, which only had an HD resolution, and this is a nice bump in specs. In terms of display quality, this is an LCD display with an excellent brightness, so you will not have any problems seeing it outdoors under direct sunlight. In terms of color reproduction, you have three color modes. You have the standard color mode, which is vivid and looks great. And then you have the super vivid mode, which turns every color nearly neon-like. It's very strong. And when I took a picture with the XZ2 Compact and then looked back on the picture using the super vivid mode, I just couldn't recognize the color of my clothes. This is how uh, overblown the effect is. Now, in terms of interface, the XZ2 Compact runs on the latest Android 8.0 Oreo, which is a nice thing to have, but also expected in a 2018 flagship. On top of that is a very clean and unobtrusive Sony interface. What really stands out here is the new 3D Creator app. Now, the 3D Creator app is something unique on Sony phones, and it allows you to make 3D scans of real-world objects. What does this mean? Well, basically you can hold the phone to your face and start doing a 3D scan so you can get a full 3D scan of your face that you can later 3D print or just save for the generations. Whatever you wish, you can also scan a freeform object in the real world that you can then 3D print and so on. The effect is not perfect, the accuracy is not perfect, but it is good enough for enthusiasts and if you have a 3D printer, you will definitely enjoy playing with it. It's a gimmick, but a fun one. The XZ2 Compact runs on the Snapdragon 845 system chip and has 4GB of RAM. The 845 system chip is the most powerful currently available on Android and it shows. The phone runs smoothly, there is no stutter, but the animations are a bit too slow, so you get the perception of a slightly slower experience. This is noticeable with the fingerprint scanner, which takes a second or so to unlock the phone, and there are a few other places in the interface. Now, in terms of the camera, on the back you have a single camera, no dual cameras, no portrait mode. This single camera is a 19 megapixel one that Sony calls motion eye camera. So what can it do? Well, basically it can take pictures and it can take 4K video. And this is the first phone that can record 4K HDR video. Now HDR stands for high dynamic range. And it means that basically your phone takes a couple of pictures and then combines them one picture is taken at the lower exposure, the other at the higher exposure, and you combine them, you get a very high dynamic picture that looks better, has more rich colors. 
this same effect applies to video. Today we're testing the video recording capabilities of this little Sony Xperia XZ2 Compact. This is one of the first phones along with the XZ2 to record 4K video in, in HDR, 4K HDR video as well as 1080p HDR and right now we're testing the 4K HDR video option. Hello guys, it's me again and now we will test the 4K video recording capabilities on the XZ2 Compact with HDR turned off. Now in terms of image quality, this camera does good but it's no match for the flagships out there. What do we mean? There is one big issue and this is noise. There is a high amount of noise in pictures even in broad daylight. So overall the photo quality is good but not quite on par with the flagships out there. One great thing about the XZ2 Compact is its battery life, it's solid. On our proprietary battery test, this phone scored north of 9 hours, which is a very good score, but it's not quite on par with last year's XZ1 Compact, which scored a nearly record 12 hours. Now, last year this was due to the combination of an effective chip and the low resolution screen. This year the higher resolution screen definitely takes its toll, but still this is one phone that it will easily last you through a very long day and sometimes with more moderate use you can get two full days out of it. In terms of charging you get a full charger in the box but unfortunately if you want a full charge from 0 to 100 percent it takes more than two hours so it's a pretty lengthy process. Another cool feature that this phone supports is water protection. This phone is IP68 rated which means it's dust and water resistant and you can submerge it in water up to 5 feet deep for as long as 30 minutes and you can be sure that this phone will not be damaged. Of course this is not something that Sony recommends doing. What this phone does not have though is wireless charging so you need to rely on that USB-C cable to charge up your phone. Another cool addition to this XZ2 Compact are the dual front stereo speakers that sound very good and improved over earlier phones. Now this is a trend in 2018, more and more phones are getting very good loudspeaker quality and this is the case on the XZ2 Compact. So at the end of the day, what are our thoughts on the XZ2 Compact? First you have to talk price. The XZ2 Compact is sold for around 600 US dollars and it will be compatible with Verizon Wireless in the US, a first for Sony phones in recent years. It will also work on GSM carriers like T-Mobile and AT&T in the USA and of course it will work across the globe on GSM carriers. And at $600 this is a phone that is small yet has a powerful flagship grade performance but it falls short in terms of the camera. Then its battery though is pretty solid, so you get a hesitant thumbs up for the XZ2 Compact. It's not a bad phone, but if you want the greatest camera, you have other options. And if you want absolutely the most compact phone out there, well, the XZ2 Compact is still a little bit bigger than the iPhone SE. Still it's compact, easily pocketable, easy to handle with just one hand and overall very likable. So if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel for more videos. This is Vic Kristoff with Phonarena checking out. Thanks for watching.